Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus. this is episode 10 of our Final Factorio episode uh, or series. This uh, one is brought to you by Extrason. So we are, we, we've, we're certainly, we're sort of transitioning away from the early game by sort of heading towards the two things that are really uh, big gates in the Factorio towards the mid game. And that's red circuits and subsequently blue signs. So that's what we're going to work towards here. We have some petroleum petroleum here and we have some lubricant both are needed and the petroleum is what we're going to do first work first on there are a few uh, other things that i want to just clear up i have an idea so that idea let's actually implement it and you're going to yell at me but i don't mind that please yell away i, I want to build something very very simple here i just thought of it and then just like why don't i just do this and to hell with the consequences we can build something that is absolutely forbidden by all measures. But what I basically need is I need to start having a lot of these. And I don't want to build it out here. I'll just uh, take it right here because I have no need for this at this point. So why don't I just start building it here and then just fill this one up. And then yeah, there we go. Keep the whole base flowing. All right. So we need to start working on... You know, that one is no good anymore. It has become vestigial. It is no good to us. You, my friend, will put all of those in there. Okay. Um, I need a lot of chemical plants, I guess. And what I also need is coal on the bus. So where do we get the coal on the bus? I think one belt here will be fine. So I think I'll take the coal in here. Come on, there. Okay, hello coal. Where are you coming from? Where is the coal coming from? It's coming from up here. So that's perfectly fine. I like that. That I can just draw another line like this. You can also see. Well, that's actually okay because it's not being consumed that much. Uh, let's start blowing things up here. This is inside our base, so used to be on the outside of the base but now it's suddenly turning into inside of the base yes i am um, i'm kind of blowing myself up here i'm not going to use this belt because this belt is already constrained oh how i wish i had some place where these got stored oh cool so i have all the belts i need or all the need. so go 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 can i grab it without standing on the belt yes i can oh damn it I did not want to pick up all the other crap. This crap. And there goes down there. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. Okay, that's a lot. And boom, boom. Go. I got rid of that. I... I think I need some more coal. Let's just continue this part here. It's a bit silly. There we go. Grab those grenades. Everyone's happy. I will... And I... Oh, I only have 17. Wow, that's not a lot. Uh, that one goes up. I mean, I know this is big enough, but but is that enough to feed? It is enough. I thought I could get it outside the range, but alas, my exploding skills are not as uh, accurate as you probably have noticed. Okay, so that's cleared out as well. We are slowly and steadily... Up. So what I need the coal on the main bus for is because I want to make plastic. As you can probably see from the title of this one, if I ever get that far. 
walking path or oh, running path. Sorry, it's getting really dark out here. Out here in the wilderness. But I really want to go there. This one needs to go all the way up. Oh, really? It's already there. Hmm. Should I do something like this? And just make sure that there are lights over here. We could put the lights on the inside just because then I'll hit the... Why am I going to do that? That would mean I'd hit the lights first. It doesn't really do much in terms of extending our coverage. Would do this part. Uh, can I build more? No, I can't. I don't have anything. Ha! Huh. Interesting. What I do need is then getting this back into somewhere where we do have some power. Come on, chop, 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 chop. Yeah, sorry it's so dark. Man. There we go. We have lights. Cool. So what I do want to do is actually take Oh come on, you don't say that. Uh not enough. Not enough of anything. Well, this one I'll just build, because then I at least have the place out here to run. Now, the one thing I should also consider is maybe I should make a, uh, a cross part here, because this belt... Oh, don't hit stuff! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, maybe do a bit more and then do one cross path, because otherwise I'll start running around inside the base. Let's get some more. We're not at yellow belts are red belts yet some could with good reason argue that it's time to get the yellow belts and uh, that's actually quite a fair argument i guess really does that only go to 50 let's go to 100 anything else i need i don't think so i have everything else yeah i do need some iron though just to craft stuff We'll just get it from the bus. I can't build these because I'm somehow missing some copper as well. How about that? I'll just grab the copper from this belt. There's plenty of it and it's not really being used at this point. Oh, play inventory full. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Let's see. How many do I have? I have definitely enough because something that's actually quite interesting about is how fast it Produces. So the other thing I want here is I want to get the lubricant out as well. Where would be a good place to get the lubricant out? If I get it, see, I need it in here. But that's not a good idea. But I could take it. I could take it up here. Yeah. The petroleum is going to be here, and then it'll also go into. The next one, which will be sulfur. Okay, lubricant. We are going to take that upwards. How far upwards? Like this, maybe? Hmm. Did not see that coming. Well, should have, though. Oh, perfect fit. And this could be number two. This. There. Never going up. Uh, and that's, that's, why am I doing this now? This is totally not what I wanted to do. Look at the immaculate timing here. Well, I think this from the perspective of now it's just solved. Go, 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 go. 
So I need three on the bus, I guess. Water might actually be something I want to bus as well. We'll figure it out. And that one here. You're going to be... This is also an option. It's actually a way better option. No. Let's start building something here. Um, that one needs... If I look at the end game here, really going to be relevant, but I want to see how far down I can build it. I must build it. Here. This is plastic. Seems like a good amount of plastic. Let's look at numbers here because the plastic is producing quite fast. So this is two per second and this is crafting speed 1.25. So it's two and a half per second each of these. So that's five per second and that's 10 and that's 15 per second. So already now we have a full yellow belt out. And that's a bit much, isn't it? And what about consumption? It is consuming half of it comes in. So if I put a full yellow belt in, then I'm going to expect a full red belt out. That means we're going to start building red belts now. Copy. Zip. Yep, the sounds are important. Ah. So this is the first place where we actually start needing the red belts. Let's go grab them. Luckily, we have built them in our setup, so that's not really a problem. Now that we have lights, let's also just find a way to power this. Uh, I guess we want to drag it along the path here. Oh, funny. There. All right, that's good. And then I will need input, 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 input. oops. What am I actually producing? I'm seriously producing green circuits by hand. I hope no one noticed it. Ooh, this one will be fine. And yes, it technically doesn't need to go all there, but I kind of like that consistency. Hmm. Bracket. Force it over. Great. One more here, and one more here. There we go. Let's go over and get some red belts. Oh, we didn't even complete the part where I wanted this on the bus. We'll get that sorted, no worries. It'll come from this location and that will go underneath. Oh, actually, it'll go underneath here. And red belts, they are over here. Let's get some red belts. I don't think we need much more than red belts. Actually, that's 200 and I take one of these. Oh, really? That's definitely going to be 100. It might actually be more, you know. That's going to be used a lot. This one is going to be 50 for sure. So where do we want the plastic again? I think I'll take the plastic out on this part. Yeah. Hey, look, we have stuff. It won't be able to complete, but look at this. Four, four. Oops. Hmm. 
Hmm. We do have some rerouting somewhere to do, but is that actually a good idea? Nope. Not just yet, I think. I think it's better to have it here. I rather want it afterwards than before. Okay, so that is that part. All we need is now getting the colon. So let's go, go backwards. And now I'm already running into the whole uh, aura that horror show I made. And let's see, where is this? This is... Let's get the car because we need it to be driving. Oh, how I wish it, uh, this auto to fill would work but it's also making trivializing some other things good there's look at this this is not city blocks this is just nice walking path to clear to get a nice overview okay give you away what do we have we have nine of these that's fine we can replace them we can place them here so we run all the way over That one? Oh, come on. This is fine. So that's now... Uh, should I... Yes, I should. I'll take these two here. How did I do it up, up north? Yeah, I did do it exactly like this. So I'll just take these two on the intercept duty. Do I want this? Uh, it doesn't. It still doesn't really improve our range very much. Really? Oh, maybe that's because I'm standing here. There. Let's see. Um, up. That one. That also enables us or forces us to clear some more forest. We don't want that. Uh, actually, you know what? I actually need a bit more. Because I also need to create some more... Uh, smelting arrays and smelting arrays because the way I've done it I would I'm actually using the small power poles for that it could change but don't really want to there it might soon be time to start switching to red belts now that I start thinking about it oh hold on Perfectly timed. Yeah, yeah, dirt, dirt. Don't we know that dirt, dirt sound when we hear it? Let's see. Is it coming in? Yes, it's coming in. It's coming in. It's going in here. This is fine. Everything is awesome. This one is a bit of a disgrace, but look at that. I have 250 something of those. So that means it's going to be easier to scale things up. Now, this is completely idle because it gets stuck on the one we just building here. So we'll mark this with plastic. Plastic is a very important thing to get up and running. All right, next up, this is this belt here is just unfortunately going to be slow. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Okay, in the meantime, we can build some other stuff. Why don't we? That means more of this and more of these. Yes. Well, okay. 13 of those. It's coming. Now let's expand this one because I'm going to need more copper soon. So might as well take this on as well. These are kind of the things that I, I make one of these once in a while just to make sure that we are... We are keeping ahead of the, not the competition, but. Yeah. 
ahead of the demand by continually scaling up slowly, but not just going crazy of building 12 lanes of this. And then, yeah, you're not going to be using 12 lanes anytime soon. This will also clear up my inventory a bit with all the crap that I have it. Got it. I don't know why I decided to build these first, but it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, it takes about two minutes to build one of these. So it's not like overwhelming amount of time it takes to build these once you have the blueprint stamped down. And let's get the lights. Anyhow, the last thing I built is the power poles. I don't know what I can read into that. Yeah. And then all I need now is some more inputs and I don't have it because I don't have enough smelters, but you know, smelters, that's something we can get. Build the car. I'm hoping this one is, oh, hold on. We've completely forgotten the science. You've been yelling at me all time and I haven't really done anything. Uh, let's see, we'll take this one first. Explained. Take this out. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So. Don't know why I still use these, but I apparently I do. <clears throat> Interesting thing is how I I keep I keep rerouting it every time. Don't know if that's particularly efficient to be honest, but I I somehow I like this idea that I reroute it and then take the next one. And you run ahead and get this one sorted. Yes. That one, that one. Oops, that was all of it. I need that back again. And from down here, it's pretty simple to get it in because boom, now it's done. Okay, let's have a look at what uh, what's happening here. You can see it's going, it's going, it's going. Oh. And our plastic is now completely saturated. It looks awesome. You can also see that it just saturated now. And that means good. And now I guess what one of the next things will be, we might as well do that, do this now. Okay. So now we start doing it. I'm not going to say more professionally, but mm. All right, this one is also something I think there's a solution to. Because I want this to be here. But if I do that, is it aligned? Yes, it is. And I run into it problems right there. Ooh, however do I solve that? Well, the answer is like that. Just a single one. 
Okay, so that means now our here going under at this point, we really need to make sure that things get bounced again because it's, it hasn't really, it is definitely not bounced. Oh, come on. So it's rebalanced just for the hell of it. You can say going down here, that will be ready for the next thing that it needs to build, which will be the red circuit. Yeah, plastic is now doing better. Uh, sorry, copper is doing better. Iron is mm, kind of suffering from the same problems. We can just fix that as well. It's at this point. It should be rebalanced. I don't really mind doing rebalancing too often. Really? Ran out again? Ugh. Let's get some more. And unfortunately, at some point, I have to replace everything with red. And that's kind of something I'm dreading now, now that I think of it. That maybe I should stop making yellow belts and start just taking the dive into red belts. He says, while continue building red yellow belts. So I'm just trying to summarize all the belts we currently have. I only have two belts. I'm not sure this is correct. This is kind of a, a classical thing where you just take it out, but these ones will consume all of it at some point. And when that happens, it likes to take two of those completely out. This one could consume a lot and, and I just need to kind of make sure that, for example, this part here will consume, let's say, three red belts. That means there's only one red belt remaining, and that'll go to this part, for example. And after that, we don't have any more reds. Uh, we need four more inbound, and we're talking about sort of the scale up. Iron-wise, there's going to be a lot of iron being consumed by this part, so I want to make sure that it actually takes, takes in the right amount um yeah i'm gonna need more basic belts in basically let's actually do that now just so that we can get a sense of it let's take this part basically say that the same way boom I'm not going to build that now, but I just want to prepare it so it becomes evident that I want to have eight lanes of copper coming in. One, two, that's kind of how we did it. Which also means that this one is not going to go further, but that one will go further down and that sort of delimit the bus area. Throw those grenades. Never can get enough of that. There, there. Keep going down. This one keeps going up. Just so we start getting a sense of the scale of this. And that will also be... Okay, well done, sir. Well done, indeed. This doesn't make any sense anymore because it would also go straight through somewhere else. But if I do it like this, it starts making sense again. So we'll have more copper here. Copper, copper, iron, steel, steel, more iron over here. I think that'll work fine. And we have our plastic and we've also been scaling up a bit on the base. So there we go.
that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you're enjoying this uh, show so far and that you'll be checking back for next episodes as we continue to scale and build. See you next time. Bye.